Good day. I'm Tom Avanellis. And I'm Karen Avanellis. Welcome to our kiwi berry farm. You know, it's interesting if you would have said kiwi berry to somebody, they'd look at you with kind of a funny look, have no idea what you're talking about. But uh, we uh, have the, the blessed opportunity to propagate and grow tahi kiwi berries in Oregon. Uh, it's one of the very few places uh, in the United States that they will prosper and do very well. Uh, they are grown in a few other locations around the world. They originated out of China, kiwi berries that originally, and are grown in places in Europe. But this variety is grown primarily now here, uh, some in New Zealand, also in France, and Italy. We recently made a trip to uh, New Zealand to really learn about the culture of growing this cultivar. And it's been a both exciting adventure for all of us, and it's a tremendous piece of fruit. So as we look, when you say, what is a kiwi berry? Well, it is just exactly that. This little fruit that we're looking at, and not really little in many ways, because it's ra very rapidly growing. Believe it or not, that is a kiwi with no fuzz. You cut it open inside, the berries look just like a kiwi. It's a flavor like a kiwi, but in some ways, I think sweeter. This fruit should be eaten when it's slightly softened. And you just pop it in your mouth and enjoy it like you would a grape. But really, it's a kiwi. So you get that great kiwi flavor um, and all the nutritional impact of kiwi and not have to worry about the fuzz. I'm really excited and passionate for the kiwi berries we grow because they are so healthy and so nutritious. They are power packed, not only with anthocyanins and phytonutrients, vitamins and minerals and trace elements, but they have a very medicinal quality. That's why they're so popular in China. So a couple of things are unique about kiwi berries. Uh, first of all, you grow with this elaborate trellis system, which need, is needed to support the tremendous crop that's on them. Also, uh, they're unique for their climatic conditions that fit perfectly for the Pacific Northwest. There are currently two varieties in Pacific Northwest, the Anna or Ananias, and the Tahi. Uh, and the Tahi is the one that uh, we currently grow. It's a much larger kiwi berry. Uh, and carries a flavor of kiwis uh, tremendously so. Uh, the other things you see, they're planted in rows. We supply irrigation to them, both overhead irrigation in the spring for frost protection, and the irrigation that we keep the ground very, very moist throughout the growing season because of the need for the rapid growth that this fruit takes place uh, during the season. And it has both male and female plants. Uh, the male plants produce a pollen in order to set the fruit. And we have a ratio of about one male for every nine to 10 females. The males, after they bloom, do not uh, have any fruit at all and just grow vegetatively. And we prune them back to prepare so that they'll bloom again next year and pollinate the females. We have not had to apply any type of chemical pesticides to this crop. So it's really chem free from that standpoint as far as anything on the fruit. It's adapted extremely well to this area and fits very, very well for our regenerative practices where we continue to enhance the quality of the ground, the soil to create health, healthy plants and healthy growing conditions that produce some of the healthiest fruit that you'll ever eat. Well, what excites me about the Chem Free is for all of our employees. Uh, they have really embraced uh, starting with a new crop like this and learning from the ground up how to grow and propagate this and, and help these plants prosper. They're all so very excited to learn this crop year after year. We are fast approaching harvest in just a few days now and it will be so exciting to come back out here and have our eye on that with the camera uh, because this planting will be humming with people that are working to harvest and getting it in cold storage right away. We've learned a lot from last year about how this has to be handled post-harvest and even harvest to um, sustain what we call the legs on the grocery shelf when it gets there. Um, it's a whole new day in kiwi berry farming here, so we're excited. 
Okay, welcome. Good morning. Uh, my name is Anselmo Nunez. I arrived here since 1985. I'm working on the same place for the, the many years, you know, since that year to, to now. I'm working for AgriCare for about 14 years. So, and we got the blueberry, hazelnut, and kiwi now. So we harvesting the kiwi crop right now, you know, so this is a, a good uh, uh, learn for us. You know, this is the third year that we picked the, the kiwi. So, uh, yeah, the process on the kiwis, I mean, uh, we check in, you know, for two or three weeks, you know, how does the process, you know, to the ripen, you know, we check every, every third day, you know, the, the, the areas, you know, and till we see for sure if he's ready to, to start to pick. To harvest the kiwi, you know, we try to break, you know, the stems, you know, to try to don't send that on the, to the packing, you know, because uh, we have to try to care the fruit the more we can, so to, to try to don't scratch any any damage on, on, the, on the kiwi, you know, because we want to send to the store pretty good fruit. Hi there, uh, my, my name is uh, Gerardo Medina. Uh, I'm an employee from AgriCare. Uh, been working with AgriCare since uh, 2009. Um, and the uh, farm supervisor from the uh, Quiet Meadows and Riverbend farms. So the things that we do here, uh, we start, we plant it, um, we prune them. We do repairs on the trellis system if we has to. We do mowing. So, and then I hope us help out some on the uh, harvest process. Uh, when we harvest this uh, variety, um, it usually is not ripe. So we put it on the reaper uh, and the co cooler temperature so we can arrive to the packer. Uh, once the packer has it, they then distribute it to the stores when it's close to be ripe and it's gonna be a good quality for the, for the consumer. is we've taken a very scientific, agronomic, data-gathering approach to it. The technology we have with uh, uh, infrared technology that we actually take and, and monitor and manage and fly over the canopy, so we do that multiple times during the year so you can see the health of the plant. We have live soil interaction so we can look and see what the moisture is in the soil throughout the year, and we've found some very interesting things that um, it actually requires more water uh, during key parts of the year than any other crop because both you're growing a cover crop underneath for the help of soil, but you're also growing the full canopy of, of the kiwi berries. But as far as a, inner, a water efficient plant, because of the volume of fruit, it's one of the most volume, it's one of the most water efficient plants that we, we uh, grow because of the volume of fruit that comes off of it. We're excited about being on the leading edge of actually introducing a new crop, which I can say is not brand new, it's been around for about 10 years, but one that is really now beginning to 
uh, accelerate the opportunity in the Pacific Northwest because of the uniqueness of this crop and the opportunities we have to delight our customer every single time. And I think one of the things that I am most excited about is helping the consumer understand the beauty and the quality of this berry and what it will add to their uh, whole palate food consumption wise. I mean, you can freeze it and put it in uh, smoothies. You can put it in salads. You can cook with it. There's so many things you can do with this little berry because of its unique uh, flavor profile. So we're excited to introduce this and um, get feedback from both the consumers and the retailers.